Disorganized behavior. Everything out of place. You're tuned in to Ned Ned Nerve, the schizophrenic. This is day 32 of 100 symptoms. Disorganized speech is common in schizophrenia and psychotic disorders. Words and sounds and meanings switch places on the fly, rearranged by chaos. Similarly, when behavior is disorganized, actions, tasks, and goals get mixed by chaos. Here's an easy example of everyday disorganized behavior. I might be working on a task on my computer and I'll suddenly be hit with thought about my target goal in an hour. I might quickly feel like I'm late and I might move back in my chair and even get up to put shoes and coat on. However, I'll note that I'm early, go back to my task having lost focus and motivational inertia. Therefore, I end up having to piece back together the needs of my task. Eventually, I get back on track with my regularly scheduled behaviors. There's something that happens sometimes in the brain that kind of rudely jerks the priorities of the attention to another place in time than the one I am in. I am in that place at that time. In more extreme situations, such as 2002, in the middle of the Black Rock Desert at the Burning Man event, I was untreated and unsupervised. At one point, I was completely disorganized, drawing circles and strange symbols in the sand, carrying objects in a cumbersome array, ignoring real human interaction. A few days later, there was a sandstorm picking up and I nonchalantly headed away from the desert toward the small town nearby. One person yelled at me for asking for help. Another kind resident gave me watermelon. I found eventually the place my mom was in contact with, looking for me, where I talked to my mom on the phone about my plans to hitchhike to the coast and back to Canada. I was in a say yes to everything kind of mood, and not connecting to the accurate picture of what was happening to me. Little did I know at that time I was severely dissociated from what had actually been happening to me for two years. You see, I was taken, as a kid recently graduated from high school, to Burning Man by a sexual predator. I surely had schizophrenic and psychotic symptoms, but the topmost stressor was real abuse I was experiencing. Real trauma and abuse are part of the experience of many individuals with mental health realities. My therapist told me the statistic that as many as one in four girls are sexually abused and one in six boys are sexually abused by someone older and in a position of influence. The most natural behavior of someone being attacked slowly and fiercely by a predator is disorganized behavior. There is no sane way to take sexual abuse. Dissociation and disorganization are basically the most likely outcome of abuse. Maybe it would even be possible to predict the past likelihood of abuse based on the severity of symptoms of dissociation and disorganization. At any rate, we should seek more understanding of the location of real stress factors in the situation of a psychotic patient who is experiencing disorganized thinking and behavior. Thanks for watching. Ask any questions in the comments below. Please subscribe and share. Thank you. You're listening to Ned Ned Nerb the Schizophrenic. That was day 32 of 100 symptoms. Bye for now.